Hi guys, welcome to the fast version of hack and slash topology on this cartoon model of one of my students, Berto. Now, this is the fast version, so I'm just going to talk over the top of it and give you a bit of a narrative. I've sped up some parts and just edited bits out, so it's a little bit faster for you guys to follow. Now, the most important thing with a lot of topology modeling is really, I think, what students, I find, uh, tend to do straight away is they tend to want to be a bit too precious with their, their modeling. Now, just while... I, I'll talk about this part. This is just getting the back face culling working so the front faces work. So we just got to reverse those normals there. And so there's our back facing off basic and culling on there. So it's just a bit cleaner to work with. I've got a hotkey for that. Uh, yeah, what was I was saying about students is they just tend to be a little bit too precious. So as you can see here, I'm really just hacking into the mesh now. As you guys probably heard a lot already, uh, with sub-D modeling, which is essentially what we're doing here, we, we smooth the model into a subdivided sub mesh after we've completed all this. Uh, we we really want a lot of quads in our, in our mesh, but that means just four-sided faces everywhere. But uh, at first, really, we can be really quite messy with our meshes, and we can just hack in and, and leave a lot of these edges into triangles or, or you know, different parts. And, and really keep messy areas away uh, into bits that are just sort of tucked away and, and forget about them at first. So as what my student B Berto said when I was doing this model, he said, it's, it's amazing, like, uh, don't fear the future. <laughs> I sort of laughed at that and, and thought it was quite on the money because, yeah, it, you don't have to be too precious. Just start hacking into your mesh. Don't worry too much. Just get your lines flowing in the way that you want. It's pretty obvious after a while where your lines should be. It's really you're following the creases and the hard edges of your model and the and the wrinkles and, and the muscle flow of your characters. So a, a lot of the tools that I'm using here uh, are quite um, quite similar. So there's a lot of repetition in modeling. And uh, for that reason, you'll notice that I'm hardly using any menus at all. In fact, I think I only use a menu maybe two, two times in this whole demo. And the rest of the time, I'm just using pure shortcuts and uh, make sure you have the comments on, uh, the sorry, the captions on, because the captions show all the menu items that I'm using. And, uh, and But you can see that, like, in my preferences, I've got my own hotkeys, so a lot of the hotkeys won't match up to your My Defaults. If you're interested in my preferences, just give me an email, and I'll see what I can do for you guys. Uh, and my modeling workflow is really fast, so because of, because of the hotkeys and even a lot of professionals don't use hotkeys and it just really slows them down so guys if, if you use hotkeys and good workflow in your in your modeling skills you're just going to be worth a lot more money because uh, time is money as they say and uh, and it's really good to get a really uh, good workflow down for your for your modeling tools and you can really pump stuff out really quickly once you've got this and that will make everyone happy uh, and it will even make you happy because it's not fun building models that take you know days and days and days to to, to model. So here I've just built uh, a couple of eyes with the objects. Now it's really important to build eyes in face models, just so you can build the mesh around that eye. And I noticed that uh, you know I I never used to do this too much, but it's just a really good habit to get into is to build your eye meshes and then build everything around that because your mesh will really just come together and. And uh, it's it's important to know a little bit about facial an anatomy and the and the the main lines that happen in this because by the end of this model we'll show that there's there's actually quite a lot of subtlety that goes into faces and they they can be quite tricky but this model himself is just quite a cartoony model. Beto wanted a cartoony model and that's the way that he's gone with this model. This is me just giving a demo but he's gone back and and modelled all this himself and he's done a really good job of it. So now I'm just using some of the smooth. Sorry, some of the uh, some of the soft selection tools, and it's not so handy in this model because we really don't have very many polygons to work with. But later on, when we've got a lot more polygons to throw around, we'll we'll show you that we'll start using the soft select tools a lot more. So a lot of the the tools that I'm using a lot is really just tweaking a lot of vertices. So that's just grabbing individual vertices and and edges and moving them around. And there's uh the the interactive split polygon tool. And we're using a lot of edge loop splitting. Uh, there's the interactive split again. Uh, we're using a lot of cutting into the mesh with cut cut tools. There's just a little bit of merging edges together. Edge loop splitting again, tweaking vertices. So as I say, there, there is a lot of repetition in this stuff. But once you get the hang of it, it all becomes pretty automatic. And you get a little bit, you become a bit like a touch typist 
uh, not having to look at the keys and things like that. So here you'll notice that I'm, I'm mirroring this model quite a lot and I've got a hotkey for that. And what that hotkey does is it deletes half of the mesh and, uh, and rebuilds it from the right hand side, which is what I'm working on. And you can download that, I'll put that in the notes. Uh, it's a, a custom script by someone else uh, and I'll, I'll give you a link to his site, it's called Mirror Me and that's just a really good way of, of modeling I find. Uh, symmetrical modeling in Maya for some reason uh, still hasn't <laughs> hasn't been tweaked to the stages that it should be and a lot of people use duplicate and negative scale of objects and instance objects but that gives you a nasty little line down the center and I don't like that at all but this Mirror Me uh, script is a really good one for getting around that problem. Uh, so now I'm just working on the eye here just uh, using the edge loop splitting tools to to hack into that topology quite quickly and getting these lines like nice and close together so that's where our creases are going to be and uh, I can just sort of deselect some lines, pull those out and that's just getting the eyes to sort of start working. Now at this stage we're, I'm really just concentrating on topology uh, later on we'll go in and we'll really uh, tweak this model a lot um, to get the subtlety in there but as long as the topology is strong we, we know that this model will turn out well so there I'm just bringing the nose things together. Now I always say like Whenever you bring uh, ed edges close together, you're getting a hard crease. And um, that's just a nice manual way of getting creases in edges. Now, Maya does have an uh, automatic way of hardening edges, but we tend to, in the industry, really uh, just put ed more edge loops in. It's nice and simple, and you get a lot more control over the way your mesh will smooth out. So now we're just going in and cleaning up some of the eyes, uh, getting them everything to be a bit more quads, still not worrying about the back of the face at all just deleting some vertices and cleaning that up but you know it's getting there it's looking really good it's looking pretty good now this mesh is going to be uh, in a good state for us to throw around and tweak the vertices and get it looking good just a final mirror there just on the eyes and the brows is really what we've tweaked and it's in a, a good space to move forward so compared to the old model uh, which is here you can see that topology is quite a lot different and it will animate quite well around the eyes and the brows uh, this is the model that we're going to go towards and thanks guys for watching.